The question I pose that he read some articles against Islam, and they say that if you have multiple partners, the chances of sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis, gonorrhea, as well as AIDS, it increases. And I do agree. Being a medical doctor, I know that if a person has multiple sexual partners, the chances of sexually transmitted disease increases, whether it be syphilis, whether it be gonorrhea, also AIDS. Now, when they're talking multiple partners, it normally means that you know in the western world and now it has encroached to all over the world that fornication adultery is very common and many of the youngsters have multiple partners that means they keep on having sex they keep on changing life partner so this gives high chances of having sexually transmitted diseases including syphilis including gonorrhea including it now this Having sex with a person who's not your spouse in Islam, it's haram. It is zina. It's fornication, adultery. It is the tenth major sin in Islam. It's prohibited. What's allowed in Islam is polygyny. Polygamy is of two types. Polygamy means a person having multiple multiple spouses. If a man has more than one wife, it is called as polygyny. And if a woman has more than one husband, it's called as polyandry. So in Islam, polygyny is allowed, polyandry is haram. Now, if you compare in Islam, when a man has more than one wife, today medical science says that if a man has more than one sexual partner, and all of these are loyal to one another. That means they don't have any extramarital sex. If a Muslim man has three or four wives, and if he has sex with all the three, four wives, and there is no interchanging of partners, he has only with his wife, he doesn't have outside, and these women have with no one but with the husband, then this problem doesn't arise, which is there in the sexually transmitted disease. This is there when there is multiple different partners. Today, science also tells us that if a woman has three or four husbands and if all of them are loyal, the husband don't have sex with anyone else except that one wife and that one wife has sex with three or four husbands, then the chances of sexually transmitted disease is high. Because a woman has multiple partners, automatically the sexually transmitted disease arrives, whether it be syphilis, whether it be gonorrhea, whether it be AIDS. But if a man has multiple partners and all are loyal, this doesn't happen. But if a woman in polyandry has multiple partners, even if they're loyal, this will happen. So Alhamdulillah, Islam allows polygyny, a man to have more than one wife, in which case these transmitted, sexually transmitted diseases don't arise. Neither does AIDS take place. But Islam prohibits polyandry, in which a woman has more than one life partner, which gives rise to sexually transmitted disease. So in fact, you have to agree that the article is correct. Having multiple life partners, especially for a woman, causes the diseases. For a man, if he's restricted to three or four, and those people, those women, don't have sex with any other men, then the chances of these sexually transmitted disease is negligible. So Islam, alhamdulillah, is the religion sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is our creator. He is the best doctor in the world. He knows what is good and what is wrong. So therefore, alhamdulillah, if, if you scientifically, Islam, mashallah, is the correct way of life. And if you follow Islam, you won't have all these diseases. Hope that answers the question.